Hey everyone, it's your buddy Keith. We're here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. I've got another killer guitar to share with you today. Super rare, very interesting, wicked spec. Can't wait to tell you all about it. But first, I'm going to ask you to join our circle of friends, newbie. To everyone else, you're not newbies, you already know the deal. But to the newbies, we want you to... Uh, Come join the community. It's free. It costs you nothing. Click like on the video. Click subscribe on the channel. And you're in. You're in the gang. You're in the circle of friends. And you're going to learn a lot about rare guitars from all over the world. That I buy each and every day. Bring back to the studio to show you up close, in person. As if you're holding them in your very own hands at your local guitar shop. Because not everybody can do that. Not everyone has an Edwards Les Paul Standard limited model which is what we're dealing with today guys i bought this for two reasons one huge esp fan uh edwards is their professional brand in japan that's how it's marketed as all right this is a japanese made top top premium quality guitar so i bought it because it's an edwards but i also bought it because of this beautiful color and wait till you see the back this thing's got an awesome 50s mahogany baseball bat neck. This thing's killer. It is not for the faint at heart. You've got an ebony fretboard that is beautiful. Gorgeous trapezoid inlays, which uh, appear to be genuine mother of pearl. I'm seeing a lot of blues and purples reflected in them, but they could be acrylic block. I'm not, not totally sure. And then you have the Les Paul style font for Limited with a Mother of Pearl Edwards logo. I'll try to get that showing. But yeah, this is this is a top spec Les Paul that they put out. You've got the Seymour Duncan Zebra pickups. Great. Nice carved top. Beautiful. And this thing's got good weight to it i mean it, it is heavy guys no no way to mince it any other way it's a heavy guitar but look at this beautiful neck oh man absolutely gorgeous you've got japanese goto tuners again body is beautiful you got a boo-boo over here but here that's how you know it's a mahogany body guys they're not trying to pull a fast one on you. You know, we have to we have to check. So don't feel too bad. At least it's on the back. But man, what a good looking guitar. Absolutely stunning. And it sounds amazing. Absolutely amazing. We've got the strings detuned right now because it's gonna go get shipped off here shortly. We've got someone, got a couple people interested in it. It is going up for sale on the Reverb site and on our website, www.essexrecordingstudios.com. So if you still see it there, it's still available, but we already had two people get in touch, and I don't think it's going to be available for very long. Man, that's a good-looking guitar. Wow. And uh, if you're an Edwards fan, hop on over to the Facebook group. They've got an Ed Edwards community there. Big group. Lots of lots of fans. They know everything about these guitars. I'll probably post this video up there so they can drool over it and be super jealous. Um, and yeah, guys, check it out. Get to learn the brand. It's it's really premium guitars. They're made by ESP. Of course, Metallica uses them. Uh, if it was ESP, this would be an Eclipse. But part of why they, they use the Edwards brand and why it's only in Japan because you can't get away with things like this Les Paul font that's clearly copying it. I mean, it's obviously copying the Les Paul. You've got the four knobs. Um, it's uh, You'd have copyright issues outside of Japan. And I can't get over this neck. I wish... I, you can't feel stuff in a video, which is really a shame, but this neck is just awesome. It is super beefy. Something Zach Wilde would have. Really, really nice, guys. I'm loving the color. Cool. Well, I'm going to get going. Too many guitar videos to do. Stick around on the channel and you'll see plenty more coming right up, guys. All right. 